All right, well, I'm gonna, get a, I'm gonna sing a couple songs here against my better judgment. Uh, Steve always likes me to do a couple of these songs. This song, he likes me to do my song about my ex-wife. Is anybody married? Is there some happily married couples here? Today? Yeah, I seen a couple guys had to get poked. Yeah. He's happy. You're happy. You're happy. Yes, yes, I'm happy. See, I'm happy. I was happy. Now I'm happier divorced. I've been married seven times, divorced eight. This, this song goes out to my first and third ex-wife. So anybody else ever married the same gal twice? You? Yeah. There's only one reason why a fellow would marry the same gal twice. You can probably figure it out. It takes a certain level of crazy there, but this song goes out to Emma Fern. She's the mother of my four twins. We had twins the first set, and then we had also had twins on our second marriage ten years later. So most of my songs are about her. So this song is called The Big D. We went boating on a Sunday, I called her back on Monday, by Tuesday we was falling deep in love. Went back to her trailer, put it up for sailor, and I moved her to my place down on the mud. We got married and had some babies, I started thinking maybe this married life ain't all it's meant to be. I knew he's at the end when I met her boyfriend as he was putting up our Christmas tree. Yeah, you got the best of me. Now marriage is history. My buddies called it when you kept my wallet and went put loose and fancy free. The second verse of this story is a true story, Steve. True story. Me and Emma Lafern went for our 10 year anniversary down a little place called the Current River in the middle of Missouri. And if you are happily married and you'd rather be happy or divorced, you could go down there and strap you and your bride in a 14 foot canoe, much like you can here. The Jose Cuervo party ball and some Jagermeister and five or six thirty packs and one ham sandwich. And after four days, if you do it right, you can come home on Sunday with a brand new divorce, just like I did. Went on a vacation, forgot her medication. By the second day, she went into a spin. Got me out of bed with the beer candy the head and tried to run me over with our family van. Went down to the water, walked up and I caught her, trying to cut the brake lines on my boat. I went into a panic and just like the Titanic, I knew her vows would never flow. Yeah, you got the best of me. Now marriage is his story. My buddies called it when you kept my wallet Wiped your ass with my dignity Yeah, you got the best of me Now we're just a memory You think it's funny that you kept all my money Yeah, you got the best of me You think Thank you.
folks are just so kind and wonderful down here. You know, I came down here from Illinois down here thinking I'd be able to run around barefoot and in shorts on, and it's pretty much been about 50 degrees the whole time I've been down here. It's been about 60 degrees back at home, it seems like. I got my timing just a little bit off. So you're welcome for bringing down this 50 degree weather. That's probably my fault, too. But uh, I told you that story to tell you this. Uh, also, this song is also kind of about my first and third ex-wife because it was right after the second time that she told me that she was pregnant with twins that I wrote this song here. She told me this in the middle of Main Street right in front of the IGA store and uh, I fainted right there in the middle of Main Street. Luckily, it's a little town that don't even have a stoplight so I didn't get run over or nothing. But, uh, when I woke up, I wrote this song. And, you know, we wasn't even supposed to have any more kids because she'd had one of her tubes removed. You know, one of them fallopian tubes things. She'd had one of them taken out and her other fallopian tube had a twist in it. And they said the uh, chances of her getting pregnant was pretty slim, so of course we had twins. <laughs> and of course, my the second set of twins was born Mexican and uh, the doctor said that's kind of normal when they get a fallopian twist like that, so. This song goes out to my second set of boys, Pedro and Jesus, right here. <laughs> this song goes out to any fella that's just got too many damn kids. Well, I went to see my doctor. Said, Doc, I can't pay my bills. My rent's all spent. My truck's got a dent And I think I'm getting the chills From being forced to sleep alone You know this house just ain't a home I can't afford no kids My life is on the skids And my wife tells me leave her alone Unless I get a bay Sick to me I gotta get a bay Sick to me Just one little man Alteration to save us from another Altercation, it's a vasectomy. I gotta get a vasectomy. What a vast difference there could be. Well, the next thing you know, I was laying on a table with a light shining in my eye. They strapped my wrist and they strapped my ankles and they double strapped my thighs. The nurses were giggling and I was wiggling the most uncomfortably When the doc walked in with a perverted grin And here's what he said to me It only hurts for a little while That's what they tell me Here's a sack of frozen peas. Any other fellas had to get friendly with a sack of frozen peas? <laughs> well, it's a two weeks later, I'm feeling a little better. My mind's a little more at ease. My rent is still spent, my truck has still got a dent, but my wife is no longer a tease. And even down at the office, well, there's a lot more interest in me. While the girls all grin when I walk in Buddy, they aim to please a man with a vase Sick to me, I ought to get a vase Sick to me It's like a sun-kissed orange I've been freed It's all juice and there's no seed A vase Sick to me, I ought to get a vase Sick to me What a vase Never ends It's beginning to make a little sense It's just as safe as using a banana or what? Five different They're good. No more pills or rubber covered cranks. I'm clean as a whistle and I'm shooting blanks. So what? Five different There could be a do 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 so far away. I'm a long way from home. 
So uh, we're working for tips up here. Anything you folks can help us out there. I got five kids at home, and like my youngest one, a five-year-old, he smokes Marlboro Reds, and that's all he'll smoke. So anything you can help out with up here in the little tip bucket, I sure would appreciate it, my boys. But I tried to get him to smoke them Kentucky GT1s. He wouldn't have no. I, I blame his mother. His mother got him hooked on them damn Marlboros, and now he won't smoke anything else. Wait, do I gotta do another one? Yeah, I'm still over the limit. Oh, all right, I, I'll do over the limit, but I'll probably have to do the edited version. Are there kids here? Oh yeah, there are kids. Yeah, well, I, I have a I have an edited version of this song. This song, this is the song I wrote while I was in Tazewell County, not the Virginia Tazewell County that I learned. There's actually another Tazewell County in this country. I thought the only Tazewell County was in Illinois where I spent 30 of the finest days of my life in Tazewell County, not Tazewell County, Virginia, which I plan to go down there and, uh, you know, get a full tour of the Tazewell County Hilton down there in Virginia also. But I was, I did spend a nice 30 days in the Hilton there, Tazewell County, and that's where I met my cellmate and soulmate, Ladero Williams. And I wrote this song on day seven after shacking up with Ladero for days, seven days. I, I learned many things from Ladero Williams. Several of them I can't talk about here on the microphone. <laughs> but I think the most important thing I did learn on day seven, Steve, was if you just relax, it's much easier. Well, this song goes out to my cellmate Ladero, who I think got uh, transferred to Menard County. Well, I'm over the limit Locked up again I'm over the limit I'm beat up and tore down Can't walk that line, I'll snort it down I want them lights go round and round I'm over the limit again Well, I'm catfishing on a Friday night I've got my John boat back fish a day. I got 87 blues on my stringer line and the gang in morning's waving at me because I'm over the limit. Locked up again. There goes my John boat again. I'm over the limit. I'm beat up and tore down. Can't walk that line, I'll snort it down. I want them lights on round and round. I'm over the limit again. Well, the Tazewell County traffic judge don't want me driving anymore. I gotta give up drugs and give up beers. Well, what the shucks am I living for? So I jump in my truck and I fill it up and buy a pack of Lucky Strikes. Order on some pot and a case of beer. All of the stuff I like Now I'm over the limit Locked up again There goes my driver's license For the third time Over the limit I beat up and tore down Can't walk that line I'll score it down I want this flight to go round and round I'm over the limit again Yes, sir Bad boys, bad boys What you wanna do what you want to do when they come for you? Well, I'm playing in a dive in Southern Illinois when I saw her parting through the crowd. She came up on the stage and she grabbed me by the ass. She said, boy, you're going to pray for me now. She was five foot two and a three fifteen like a refrigerator with a red head. I said, sorry, ma'am. I got a half ton truck. You can screw the drummer instead. Ever over my limit. 135. You're welcome. You're over my limit. Got a pretty face, but a big fat ass. Got a mouth like a five pound bass. Oh, boy, you're going to go smoke your ass. I'm over the limit again. I'll stick a whip and stay. Can't work that line, I'll snort 
it down. I watch them lights go round and round. I'm up for the little bit again. Deedle, 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 But I'm still a nice person. Thank you so much. Thank you. You folks are wonderful down here. I really appreciate y'all.